Hello. Hello, 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 everybody. What's going on? Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Happy day. Full the love everywhere. What's going on, everybody? I hope you all are doing good, feeling blessed, thankful, humble. <laughs> and that's me and all up above, baby. I know y'all miss me on Thursday and Friday. Let me tell y'all something. Going to physical therapy, going to my nutritionist meeting, and my gastro bypass meetings, and woo, good googly moogly. They heading for my summer to be, my spring and summer to be fantastic. I am so excited, you know. But in the process of getting prepared for all of this stuff, y'all, my body was on shut down, shut it down mode. I was on shut down, honey. Everything I had hurt it. Everything. <laughs> yes, it did, y'all. I was like, oh my goodness. But I didn't stop. I went to every meeting. I did everything they asked me to do. The whole shebang bang budo. And uh, when my uh, nutritionist came in, she was like, oh, why is it? I'm like, yeah. She said, you look so different. I'm like, is that good or bad? She said, I really, really can see where you lost the way that I am outdone <laughs> with this. Y'all, when she said 307, I was like, what? No. No. Let me try this again. I had to get back on there and try it again, right? And it still came up to the same thing. You talking about outdone? I was so outdone and thankful altogether. It was just amazing. Um, You asked me what I've been doing different. I'm going to tell y'all. I just... I eat, but I don't eat. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, if I crave for something, I try to get what I crave for. Like, I was craving, oh my God, them uh, peanut butter cookies. The ones that look like peanuts. They look like peanuts, right? Ooh, I was craving them so bad, I didn't know what to do with myself. I wanted them. But... When I got them, y'all, the taste was horrible. It didn't taste good. It didn't taste like what I remembered. And I was like, mm, I don't want them. So I ended up giving them away. I'm going to tell y'all, I went to, I go to our little meetings. And they, uh, the meetings that I go to or I attend, those are with the ladies that, uh, have already had the gastro bypass. They had this already. And uh, what uh, I'm near is I'm listening to the outcome, the things that they went through, and the results of everything. And man, them are some very positive ladies. They have came so long. One beautiful lady came from 400 pounds being in a wheelchair and depended on help all the time to being an amazing woman 200 pounds down and doing her own thing, walking with no cane, no wheelchair, no nothing. I mean, wow. To hear their stories and to hear where they come from and to where they are right now. Uh, some of them having severe diabetes to not having diabetes anymore at all. Ooh, good googly moogly. Their testimony was amazing. And um, I gave my little testimony for when I started uh, this journey till going through to right now today and uh my testimony was i started out at 335 or three th is in between 337 or 340 
to to down to 307. And when I started this, the more I would go on the journey of not eating what I used to eat or drinking the pops or the chips or and all of that till right now it's like I don't even want all of that. Every now and then I hit a cravings. My craving is more like for cookies. And they're not any cookies. They're like oatmeal cookies. So once I eat a, a, a about four or five of them, I'm done. I don't want no more. Even if it's a whole sleeve of cookies, I'm going to eat that four or five. And my um, I'm put to rest with that. I don't, I don't want anything else. So the same thing that I've been stuck on grapefruit like crazy i get my grapefruit i peel my grapefruit and i eat them like you would eat an orange and they are so good some of them are sweet some of them are bitter and they are so good to me the same thing i've been waking up every morning i'll either have a strawberry replacement shake and that's it and maybe in the afternoon, some cheese and crackers or a grapefruit. And um, same thing. If I come in from the doctor, because usually I don't like going to the doctor and be then took all my pills, my ear. And be then took all my pills because I might have to go to the bathroom. Anything may have to happen. So I don't take any pills when I go. So that also means I don't eat. So when I come back from the doctor, I'll have me a nice salad, a chick with some fresh chicken and some lettuce, tomatoes and cucumbers and onions and bell peppers, the whole nine yards. And once I put all that together and eat that, that's for my breakfast, lunch and dinner. I'm, I'm full. I don't want anything else. I've been trying to get that water in. I have 52 ounces of water every day. But... I'm really looking for 100 ounces of water. So I got to pick that back up. So that's my only thing. But today is Saturday. I got up. I had to do my movement. It's too beautiful outside. So uh, I got up and I cleaned my room up, cleaned the bathroom up, and put stuff in order in my office, you know. So I'm supposed to be getting ready to go outside and walk up the block, you know, back and forth, up to back, to, just to get me some strength. They started me back on my, um, they started me back on doing my, uh, I get ready to do the pool exercises next week. Um, they, they started me back on physical therapy where they stretched my legs out, hit me up with that machine and everything. But I'm getting close to my task, y'all. I'm getting close to being down to the size where I can have my surgery. So I am truly ready. My insurance is, it's like they want... You, you have no real reason not to leave to leave uh, your insurance to go to another one when we supply the same thing. But the only thing is with my insurance, they want you to wait a whole year, right, to go through all the process of gastro bypass, to see everything, and they take a year. But I wanted to switch over to Meridian because Meridian has... You go for, I think it's eight, six months, six to eight months, right? And you got to go. You got a whole process of things that you're going through. But I'm almost complete with that. You know what I mean? And they talking about getting me to stay on the social, I'm not social security, but getting me to stay on the insurance that I'm already on. But I don't want to stay on it if it's going to have me to repeat, repeat going over everything that I've been through over this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Over this whole time of I started out in October, November, December, January, February. This is March. This six months into this program where I'm almost complete and ready to have my surgery. And they telling me that I can only switch over in June. So this is so I've been checking on everything. I gotta call more people to find out exactly 
am I going to be able to carry what I've been doing? Because it's the same thing in every in every insurance. It's the same thing. So some people just go a little bit more faster in the process of the gastro bypass, right? So I'm hoping that I can just if, I, if they won't let me change, let me carry over what I've done so far and not have me start over from the beginning. That's my only thing that I'm going through right now. And that's it. Everything else been pretty cool. My uh, blood pressure been high lately. But that's because I've been in pain. But other, everything else, I'm fine. Having a hard time walking, honey. That's because they beat me down. They twist my leg up, bend it down. I just kept asking the lady, whatever you do, please don't drop my leg. Don't, because I don't have that type of mobility to like just catch it if she drop it. It don't work like that. Not, not, not right now. Y'all, it's just difficult. But I'm doing it. I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing in the inside. I'm eating what I'm supposed to eat. I'm eating how I'm supposed to eat. And it's slowly, slowly going down. So I'm very happy and excited. I've read, uh, I, you know I don't have my glasses on right now. And they are in my bedroom. <laughs> Good place for them. But I started cleaning up there. And then said forget it and came on over here. And started cleaning up here. So, I finished one, I finished my task, and I'm able to sit down and chit chat with my baby. I hope everybody is enjoying and getting ready for this weather, baby, because it's coming. I've done my nails, and uh, these are these are the Dollar Tree nails, they come black and silver, but because I wanted something different. So I did them this way. And this is the mirrored nail. But I just trimmed them and put a little design in like a pretty green. Because it's the same color on my toes. So I used this from LA Colors. And this is the LA Color Last. This is the metallic finish. And this is what I took me a little um, Q-tip, pulled the ends off, and just draw my little metallic on there for my nails to match my toenails. And that's what I was doing. And I got my nails from the Dollar Tree. I showed you guys these before. They were just black, white, and silver. I just added the little metallic look and put on a different... Um, little one to throw, you know, I had something a little different, a little special. Y'all, it's getting warm. It's time to get that glamour on, baby. It's time to be fresh. It's time to smell good. It's time to glitter and shine and feel your best, even when you're not at your best. That's okay, but that don't mean you can't look like it. You feel me? Yeah. I laid down my hair today. I got on me yeah, a little shirt. Y'all, I used to buy my daughter. Candy had brought me this shirt, right? And I was so much bigger than I am now. So, you see, this is the booby part. Now, watch. Let me put it down. My boobs don't go all the way in it the way it was supposed to. It's a little too big. But that's okay. You know how you got clothes. And they old. They can have holes in them. They can be toe up from the floor. But they feel so comfortable, especially when you are not at your best or you're not feeling good. Anything comfortable on their body and smooth really makes a difference. It does. Not all tight and packed up. Not like it is when you're getting ready to go somewhere. You feel me? But when you're in the house, it's time to be comfortable. Relax. <laughs> So, my grandbabies are gone for the weekend. It's me and my oldest son. I think he's barbecuing. He having um, some, he barbecuing some ribs. And I think he got a string beans going on. And maybe some sweet potatoes. I think that's what he said. 
but honey it's just going to be a pleasant day i just got up organized and dust everything and got everything in order it'd be time so you just have to get up get out and do something you know or just head out on the porch sit there and let me let me god shine down on you you know and just get that little extra mm, that you get only from him baby only from him but i hope you all are having a blessed uh week and i've enjoyed i got everything together i got mega doctor's appointments and i got a uh, nutritionist coming up i got physical therapy pool therapy Honey, it's already in motion. I am looking at a county, a little net or whatever it was. But, honey, I am excited. I got the little summer gym shoes ready, you know, with all the little pink colors and blah, blah, blah. You know, you got to be ready for it. Honey, I'm ready for it. <laughs> and listen, you babies, my babies, get up. Put on you something. Smell good. Get through your toenails or your nails. And then head out on your front porch. Grab you a little drink. Get comfortable and watch the sights, baby. I don't care if ain't nobody walking past or nothing to see. It's grass growing. It's leaves growing on the trees. It's animals running everywhere. It is so much to see. And all the cloud designs in the sky. You can't tell me it ain't nothing to do. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sit back and just be yourself. Feel sexy. Feel thankful and blessed that you are able to get up and do something. It might not be everything you want to do. You ask me what I'm doing. I'm messing with my um my warmer. I'm getting the uh, the uh, the wax out right. It's old wax. It's time to put in something new to make everything smell good. You feel me? And I love to smell good. I get it. I'm gonna ball it up. Put it in my little candle holder and. Add me, I feel like having a little magic spell by the scent, set, scented, sensational, sensational, sensationals. That's a mouthful name, the scent, sensationals. So I'll peel off me too. The aroma is loud and beautiful. It makes the whole house smell good. My son is out barbecuing in the back. I'll probably head out there and take a couple of pictures and uh, just enjoy the day. Y'all, today is too beautiful not to go out there and enjoy it. Look up to the skies. Talk to your Lord and just be thankful for everything. And remember, you got this. There's nothing out here that you can't handle with your spirit and your God. You got this. No matter how hard things seem to get, baby, they get better. And know you got this. Stop your worrying. Put it all in God's hands. Get up and enjoy yourself. Pamper you. It's time to pamper you. Do your facials. Do your nails. Lay your hair back if you want to. I told you I'm going through a break. Me smell. So right now I'm conditioning it and lay it down and leave it the way it is. Throw on some earrings. Got the face clean. Yes. Put a little coconut oil on my skin. I feel blessed. So I don't have anything else to worry about. And you guys don't either. You got to learn sometimes to put it in God's hands and let him have it. And once he got it, baby, it ain't nothing else left for you to do. But get prepared for whatever it is that you ask for. That's what you do. That's how you do it. So go out. Get up. Get out and do something. Enjoy the outside. Enjoy the inside. And keep on smiling. 
keep smiling. No matter how hard the task is put before us, we can handle it. We got this. We got the utmost help. You feel me? And when you got that, you got everything. And then we got our families, you know? Family. And I know one of my... Hold on. I was supposed to have been going through this phone to get to my YouTube channel so I can read my comments. Y'all know I ain't got my glasses on, so... Teresa Prideham, thank you, baby, for sending me all my blessings and for the weight loss. She was telling me that she had those knots in her hands and everything, like I was telling y'all I have over my body. Yes, and my doctor told me a nice massage, warmness, and everything helps clear them knots, like a massage. All right, Charlotte. Brian, Charlotte Brian, thank you so much, baby, for your comments and everything. And just watching the channel, leaving comments, and sending prayers. Thank you so much. Lula Lips, baby. What's going on, baby? I'm here. Um, I sent you my phone number just in case you wanted to talk or you can call me anytime you want to. And if I don't pick up, leave me a message. Leave a Lula Lip name. Be like, hey, it's Lula Lips and I'm calling. We need to talk. I got you, baby. I got you. I'm right here for you. So just call me. Um, the storyteller with a twist. You supposed to call me back. <laughs> That's my little cousin, y'all. I'm hoping that she, I can wait for her to come to get down here. And I want to see my, my little cousins. Oh, my God. They so, oh, my goodness. I love you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. What's up, girl? How are you doing, baby? You are amazing as well. And I thank you for being in my corner and uh, commenting and everything. Sending all the prayers. Thank you, Yaya. Pamela McKenzie. Listen, my sweet. I know you are going through so many things right now. But I am here for you always. All you got to do is just let me know and we can talk. You can call. Anything you want, I'm here. Love you. Didi Garden Beauty. Didi Garden Beauty. Listen, thank you for all your positive, positive comments. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for everything. Always commenting and everything. Thank you so much for being my family, y'all. Uh, Lila, Lila Reyes. Oh, honey, thank you so much. Thank you for uh, the comments, thank you for the prayers, and thank you for just being a part of my family. Lavender Skies, she said my voice sounds like I should be on the radio. Honey, I would love to have a radio station or be a part of a radio station. I love to talk. Thank you so much for everything, your comments and just being a part of my family. So fly 80, baby. What's going on? Thank you for all the hearts and the comments and everything. And being a part of this family as well. Glow, glow, girl. How you doing, baby? I'm missing you too. And thank you for sending, my, sending me prayers, your comments, being a part of my family, everything. Love you. Michelle Palasco, how are you? Thank you very much for enjoying the channel, leaving comments, being a part of the family, and just being here for me is a blessing. Thank you. Maria Clark, thank you very much for enjoying the videos and leaving your comments and everything. It's all a blessing. Thank you so much. Leslie Lapierre. Hey, baby. I miss you, too. We're going to get... I, I think we're going to have a um, 
go live Sunday. And we'll all chit chat Sunday evening. Gidget 55. What's up, baby? How you doing? Oh, thank you very much for all your prayers, your comments, your um, just being a part of the family. We are, you are amazing, all of you. Gidget, is it Gidget 55? Or GG? <laughs> thank you so much. I know I have a horrible time remembering things. Margo! I ain't gonna even, I'm not gonna even mess your name up. B E A U L I E U. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your comments. P Bottom Poaches, baby. You're always leaving me a comment. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for being in my corner, y'all. Tiffany, I miss you. I miss you so much. And she is looking fabulous on Facebook. She, man, she gorgeous. Her and her beautiful family. Thank you, Tiffany. Airpin or Apron? Airpin, thank you. You know I love you regardless if I can say the last name or not. Please forgive me, y'all. I don't be trying to butcher your names. I'm trying to make sure. Didi, you change your, your 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 picture that I see right here on my thing. Thank you. My so-called life, 1977. Thank you, baby. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for being a part of the family. Sabrina, Chris, what's happening, girl? How are you doing? I hope that you all are having a very beautiful day and enjoying your weekend we got to chit chat it's time to get down to the hotness of ourselves ladies make sure we ready <laughs> margo everybody kathy burnett kathy burnett how are you doing and i love you too baby uh miss fjs room miss f JS Room, I love you too. Thank you very much for watching and all your commenting, baby. Thank you so much. That Nora chick, I've been checking her out on Facebook too. Her and her little pretty dresses, honey. She is feeling it, baby. Feel it. Enjoy it. Collect yourself and let them know what you made of. That's right. I got an amazing family, honey. Valerie Mendez. Thank you for your comments. Honey, listen. I love to collect stuff. I am a shoes and person type and jewelry. You know, I just started the makeup thing, I think maybe a couple of years ago. But I always love to be color coordinated. And I love me some jewelry. Uh, who else? Cheryl. I, I miss you being here, Miss Cheryl um, Gallerin. I really do. And I hope you get a chance to come back and see that it wasn't all what you thought it was. Mm -hmm. I like to. Beauty is only skin deep. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for being a part of my family. Thank you. Cynthia Freeman, what's going on, baby? How are you? I love you, too. You like the butterflies? <laughs> Lily, hello, honey. How you doing? Thank you very much for commenting on my grandsons. They a hot mess, girl. Thank you so much. Biracial beauty. What's going on with you? She like my grandson and his braids. Honey, if y'all can see him right now, my hands been acting up and I ain't been able to do it so he got hair all over his head. Lisa McCormick, I love you. Thank you for commenting on my videos and being a part of my family. Smart, classy Lady J, I'm, I'm, thank you very much for watching the videos. I'm so happy that you all got a chance to stop by 
and enjoy the things that I've been putting up and commenting and keeping them notifications on and just being here for mama. Thank y'all. Lene Collins, thank you for being a part of the family and I love you too. Deshaun, Deshaun, thank you very much for uh, leaving a comment. Anna Bramlett, thank you, Anna, for your comments. And she always sent me little happy faces. Thank you so much. Teresa Prideham, thank you very much for your comments and being a part of my family. Cookie, how are you doing, baby? Thank you, guys. Listen, Emma, Shelley, thank you for being a part of my family. I thought my uh, son and my daughter was coming. Um, thank you, Beauty Boss Lana. Thank you for watching the videos and uh, commenting. Thank you very much. Caitlin Crookwich. I think I'm saying your name. It's K-R-S-K-R-E-K-L-E-W-I-C-H. Thank you very much for leaving your comment. And I hope that you enjoy the videos and being a part of this family. Michelle Led better. Thank you very much for your coming and for telling me about different things. I love it when y'all leave me comments and y'all tell me uh, about my about things that y'all going through, about issues that you know someone else is having the same as I'm having and, and a whole lot more. Y'all, I, I just, I thank you for everything. Karina! Hey, how are you doing? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you having fun? Are you living the life that you want me? I love you all. I thank you very much for being a part of my family. I thank you all for being here. I thank you for your comments. I thank you for just, just I thank you for being yourselves. God bless you all. Enjoy your weekend. And I will be seeing you tomorrow. We're going to try to go live tomorrow. I love you all. Enjoy yourself. And thank you all again for everything. God bless everybody. Have a beautiful weekend. Get out and get up. Get up. Get out. Get up. Get out. And get something. And do something. Live. Be extraordinary. We're not going to be ordinary. We're going to be extraordinary. So, ciao, y'all. Love you all. God bless.